we're on the topic of politics, we'd like to introduce you to a veteran Chicago journalist who was front and center during the mayoral race, showing us another side of the candidates. His name is Scott Jacobs, but he calls himself Stump Connolly, a moniker evoking the likes of a grizzled old-time political reporter. He launched his career as a reporter at the Chicago Sun-Times in 1972, and since then has spent more than 40 years on one campaign trail or another, camera in hand. I love politics. I love presidential politics. I love going out and kind of being there. I like the challenge of walking into a situation and saying, what's the story here? Newspapers and TV stations are so stretched in terms of personnel, they don't get out and get to cover campaigns. Not too many people just go out and hang out as the candidate works a crowd or does a rally or does those sorts of things. After producing a documentary on Jane Byrne's 1979 bid for Chicago mayor, Jacobs changed focus to shooting video. You know, I covered uh, the 92 presidential race for PBS using a high 8 camera. Now, Jacobs equips himself with a camera weighing a fraction of that old high 8 a Canon Vixia Mini X. Since last November, he's been getting up close and personal with the mayoral candidates and those following the race. Instead of writing that story down on paper, I want to see it through the camera. And I think this, is, this allows me to do that. It allows me to be a print reporter looking at that story through a camera. So you're seeing what I see. And when I notice something through that camera, uh, I follow it. Uh, it's a discovery process, and it gives viewers a, a new, kind of a new way of approaching news. There are no scripts, no retakes, only naturally raw moments from the campaign trail. You know, when Willie Wilson announced, I knew I wanted to go to church with him. So the first Sunday, I went to church, and there's Willie Wilson singing in church. I mean, he's the only candidate who traveled with his own band. Uh, and it was great. <laughs> Chewie's very interesting. I went to his rally. He's, I, I think he's genuinely a nice person. Uh, Valentine's Day was coming up. I knew he was going to be on the campaign trail, and I knew his wife, Evelyn, was a terrific. Let's get that Valentine story. Getting behind the scenes with Rahm Emanuel was not as easy. He's well known for keeping reporters at arm's length. Oh, the politicians have gotten better and smarter. Jane Byrne was a, was a ton of fun. She didn't exactly know what she was doing. And I like it when it's not, not as well organized as a, a Rahm Emanuel campaign is this year. Thank you, God bless you, and God bless Chicago. Now that the Chicago mayoral race has come to an end, what's next? What's next for me, I hope, is to get back on the presidential campaign trail and do a very similar thing for uh, somebody, uh, making pieces that show people the texture of, of political campaigning. Those raw moments are all the good stuff. Absolutely great. <laughs> you can see more of Scott Jacobs' behind-the-scenes look at the mayoral race by going to our website, wycc.org. Look for In The Loop. Well, that wraps up our show for this week. You are now In The Loop. Join us next week when we take a closer look at how one Illinois county is using what some call a miracle drug to help save the lives of heroin addicts. Until then, I'm Chris Beery. And I'm Barbara Pinto. Good night. Good night.